Hi, my blooming birds. So once again, you are back at your favorite learning platform, Learn Forward, with Mini here, right with your maths book, maths concepts and skills by Feather Cap. Are you enjoying maths here? Started loving maths? Having fun with numbers? So what do we have ahead for you? We have already learned numbers up to 100 in the previous session. So today we will be having fun with those numbers and we will be adding and subtracting. So this is chapter 6 of your book in which we will be learning addition and subtraction of numbers up to 99. Are you ready? So let's get started. Has the gear up exercise for you. Solve the following addition and subtraction problems and color as directed without regrouping. So we have already learned adding and subtracting numbers. So here's a small exercise with very small numbers up to 20 for you. Let's do how much is 3 plus 2? This is equal to 5. Okay, that's good. So let's write. here. Now next is 9 minus 8. What do you get? Do you remember? When you have to subtract, you have to go back. Yes, you are right there with the answer 1. 4 plus 5. Quickly tell me how much is it? 9. That's brilliant. 7 minus 1. Just go backwards. You get 6. Good. How much is 11 plus 3? Go forward. Yes, 12, 13, 14. You are right here. 17 minus 4. Let's go backward. 16, 15, 14, 13. Perfect answer. How much is 15 plus 3? 18. Yes. And how much is 17 minus 7? Count 7 backwards and you get brilliant answer. You get 10. And how much is 5 minus 3? That's just 2. Good student. So that means you have already practiced addition and subtraction of numbers up to 20 very nicely. Now what you have to do, different colors are given here. So just pick up your crayon box and color these here. For the first answer, you have to color green. So you will be writing, you will be putting here this color, green, like let us use green here and you will be coloring this first answer green. So you have your pointed crayons, make sure you will color them beautifully and perfectly. Your next answer is number 2 is 1 and this you have to color in blue. So now you will pick up blue color and color this part of blue and I am sure you will be doing it neatly, right? So have fun coloring all these parts of your bird here with the given color chart. Now moving ahead, we will be doing addition and subtraction of two digit numbers. So this is addition of a two digit number to a one digit number. Now, adding means going forward. So what you have to do? First thing is we have already learned how to write numbers in columns, the tens columns and the ones column. So always write the columns at the top first. So if you have to add two numbers, let's read it out. Ravi has 12 stamps. His brother gave him three more. So what is more? More means addition. Yes. How many stamps does Ravi have now? So how many stamps does he have? We will add. You already told. For that, what you will remember is first we will write down tens and ones, the two places here. Then pick up the first number, 12. Write down the digits carefully at their proper places. Then three more. So what do you have to add? Three. Where will you write three? Ones place or tens place? Ones place because three means just three ones. So you will write three here. We will leave the tens box blank. And because we are adding, we will definitely put a plus sign here to show that we are adding numbers. Now, 
always remember addition starts from the ones place. So, 3 plus 2 is 5 and 1 is here. That means Ravi has 15 stamps now. Now, here is a common error that children do 12 plus 3 at the tens place. No, because 3 means only 3 ones. And if you write 3 at the tens place, it means 3 tens. Is it the same? No. So, that means this is the wrong way of writing digits at places. So, you will write it carefully under the ones place and start adding from ones column. Here is an exercise for you where numbers are already written perfectly. Places are also written. Digits are aligned and the plus sign is also mentioned. So, you just have to add them. And from which place will you start adding? From the ones place children. So, let us do this. 6 plus 2 is 8. And what will come in the tens column? Just 5. That is your answer. Let us move ahead. So, you have more sums to do. You will be doing yourselves to practice more. Now, you have to show that you care. The teacher announced the cleaning of the classroom. Work was assigned to each of the 38 students in the class. So, how many students are there? 38. Students were supposed to bring a duster, a broom or a cleaner etc. So, everybody just was assigned a duty what you are supposed to bring. Next day, four students did not come. How Out of how many? Out of 38, four students were on leave. They were absent. How many students came then? So, what will we do? We will subtract. So, how much is 38 minus 4? Let us count back. 37, 36, 35, 34. So, the answer is 34 students came. Is it good not to take part in the cleaning? Were they at home just because they did not want to clean? So, do you think that is good? No, it is not good. Should we live in dirty and unhealthy environment? No, because that is not good for our health. And nobody likes being in filthy surroundings, isn't it? So, it is always good to keep your surroundings neat and clean. May it be your home or even your classroom. Always keep it neat and tidy. Now, next going, we will be learning addition of two digit numbers without regrouping. So, two digit number added to another two digit number. If we have 24 and 12, again the same process. First, write the places. Then, write the digits carefully under the places. Put the plus sign and start adding from, yes, from the ones place. So, let us do it. We will first write to for tens and ones place then write the number 24 2 under the t column 4 under the o column ones column then 12 1 under the tens column 2 under the ones column put the plus sign draw a line and start adding from the ones place so you get 4 plus 2 is 6 and 2 plus 1 is 3 so, this is how you will be adding a two-digit number to another two-digit number and you have an exercise to do where numbers are perfectly written for you. So, let us add 6 plus 1 is 7. We will start from the ones place and 4 plus 5 is 9. Now, here is a hots for you. The questions here you will be doing yourselves to practice and master. What is in hots? I am thinking of a number which has the same number in tens and ones places and is the sum of 52 plus 25. So, what is the sum of 52 and 25? Quickly do in your notebook and tell me. It is 77. So, this is the number. Now, subtraction of a one digit number from a two digit number without regrouping. So, when you subtract the numbers, how do we do? Subtraction means having less of something and we go backward counting. Process is same. First, write the places, tens and ones. Write the numbers carefully. Always write the bigger number first because you have to take away from bigger number. And then write the smaller number below. Put the minus sign and start subtracting from the ones place again. Let us see how. If you have to subtract 6 from 37. So, from means you are taking 37 first. 
So 37 will be first writing tens and ones carefully. Then write 37, 3 at the tens place, 7 at the ones place and you have to subtract 6. So can you tell at which place will you write 6? 6 means only 6 ones. So you will be writing at ones place. You said that perfectly. Put the minus sign and start subtracting from the ones column now. How much is 7 minus 6? 1 and 3 is as it is. So the answer is 31. Right? Now you have an exercise for you. Solve the following. 48 minus 6. Numbers are already perfectly written for you. Let's start subtracting from the ones place. 8 minus 6 is 2 and you get 4 as it is here. So what's the difference? The answer is 42. Now we'll be subtracting two digit numbers without regrouping. So if you have two digits, the same steps. Let's subtract 24 from 36. So what number will you pick first? You will pick 36. But before that, we will write tens and ones. So this is TO. You will pick 36 and you have to write 24 carefully below it. Put minus sign and start subtracting from the ones place. So we draw a line to show that this is the answer below line. 6 minus 4 is 2 and 3 minus 2 is 1. So the answer is 12. That's it. Again, an exercise for you. So let's do one question here. 83 minus 22, all well arranged for you. So easier task. Let's start from 1. 3 minus 2 is 1 and 8 minus 2 is 6. So the difference here is 61. And the rest of the parts, yes, you will be doing yourselves, children. Now we have hots for you. Guess who am I? I am thinking a number which comes after taking away 15 from 28. So when you take away, what do you have to do? You have to subtract. So subtract 15 from 28 and find out the number yourselves. Let's think Tanvi and Naika usually help their mother in washing the utensils. Tanvi washed 12 plates. And Naika washed 15 spoons. How many utensils did they wash in all? So together how many utensils did they wash? What will you do? Definitely you are going to add them because they also did it together. So it's good to share the task and help your parents at home. Now it's time for chapter at a glance. So let's quickly recall what we have learnt in addition and subtraction of numbers up to 99 into this session. Two digit numbers can be added by arranging the numbers one below the other. What you have to remember is write the places, write the digits carefully at their proper places. Now two digit numbers can also be subtracted the same way by arranging the bigger number up and the smaller number below it. In case of addition, the numbers in one column, ones column are added. Then we move to the addition in the tens column. And in case of subtraction also, we do the same thing. The numbers in the ones column are subtracted first. So we always start addition and subtraction from the ones column. This is what we mean. Yes, it's your exercise time now. And for the maths champions you have the olympiad test let's see how many of you can crack olympiad here which of the following options gives the answer greater than 35 quickly add and tell me which one will give more than 35 oh you are right there with the answer let me check this is 29 this is 28 this is 35 but we want greater than 35 and here you get 44 so you got it correct. That's brilliant of you. Now find the value of x and y respectively. So what do we have here? We have to subtract from a number. We have to subtract 53. We get 36. So we have to check out from which number are we subtracting. So can you just think from which number did you subtract 3 so that you are still there with 9? You have given 3. You are still there with 6. So 6 with me, 3 I have given. 
that means how many were there together you will see 6 plus 3 9 so that means the value of 9 is, uh, y is 9 similarly here from some number you have given 5 you are still there with 3 so how many were there just see let's take them back together and there were 8 so the value of x is 8 so the two values are 8 and 9 okay this is the correct option wow now miscellaneous exercise for all of you take the correct option 62 plus 4 is how much find it out 86 minus 42 also you are going to subtract and find out the answer yourselves now we have just seen what added to 22 gives you 44 so what can be this number you can check out the this is 22 i have to add something more to it so this is my number 22 something is added and i get this number as 44 so can you just see what do you have to find out you have to find out the difference here the remaining part will be the difference so for that you will subtract how much is 44 minus 22 perfect you get it 22 amar had 23 books sara gave him 12 more books how many books does he have in all now what will you do again add and find out the answer yourselves ruby blue 34 balloons for a party 13 of them burst out it happens with you also when you are making decorations for a birthday party some of the balloons burst out isn't it so same happened with juby also how many balloons are left with her yes i could hear a loud sound from you subtraction so do it yourselves and find out how many balloons are left with her now subjective type questions add the following you will be doing yourselves i am sure you can just solve subtraction also is an easy task for all of you now ruby had 45 candies her mother gave her 12 more candies how many candies does ruby have now so now here what will you be doing you will be adding good so add them and find out what is the total number of candies with ruby now next harry and jimmy work out the calculation for 23 plus 12 harry is doing this way jimmy is doing this way so here jimmy starts from 23 and he goes back and reaches 11 whereas harry is adding the numbers by putting them in correct columns one below the other now who is correct can you tell harry is correct okay why is it correct can you explain when we add it means does it mean going backwards no it means going forward so jimmy is wrong what is he actually doing can you tell good children he is actually subtracting so this is wrong and harry has done it perfectly and his answer is correct that is 35 <laughs> now next question is write any three combinations of numbers that add up to 50 so you can pick any two numbers for which you get 50 as the answer <coughs> if you take 10 with 10 what will be the other number 10 plus 40 makes 50 you can even say 25 plus 25 makes 50 you know when you add 1 to any number you go to the next number that means to which number will I add 1 49 and I get 50 there are many combinations like this. These are just the examples. You can find out your own combinations and get the sum of 50. So, just have an experiment with the numbers. That's all in today's learning, children. We'll be coming up with more interesting session and have lots of fun with numbers ahead. Till then, happy learning.